in a city without Oh, they gon' hear me, man. Uh, if I put heaven to concrete, will God hear me clearer? Drugs get pumped like heartbeats, the cops in the mirror. This thing on my hip don't lie, like Shakira. If you a dime, get nearer. Got a leak in Alavera, Terra Era. Yo, what's poppin', y'all? It's the A1, Humby. Y'all know everything, Humby. You now tune in to Hip Hop Advocates. Uh, Holla. Yo, that was beautiful. What you think, bro? Yo, perfect. Yeah, I heard. We still got Spit Gems over here, and um, we're going to talk about some bodies of work that people really need to know about. Mm -hmm. um, but first, let's get into uh, Broken Home, man. Yeah, man. Tell us about like where that came from, right? Because that consists of you, A1. Correct. F you. Correct. Is there more people? Yeah. It, I, in all reality, Broken Home is a bit of a lesion. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, it's more of a, a collective, you know, is what people don't really understand. You know, me, F you, and A1 are homeschooled. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. Broken Home is the foundation. You know, Broken Home, what it stands for is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. The, the cats that I grew up with who started rhyming in my circle first, that's what we all shared in common. We lived in a fucked up homes, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was drugs in the house, whether it was a crime fucking riddled family, you know what I'm saying? Or just just pain, you know what I'm saying? And we understood that at, at a young age, you know what I mean? That this wasn't normal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, my Ernesto Hernandez, Submariner is his rap name, right? That was my first rap partner ever. He came up with that term, mm. broken home. He said, yo, son, this is us. You know what I mean? And I felt like he was eager to tell it to me, too, because out of everybody, it fit me the most. You know what I'm saying? So it, it was kind of like that was the moment he put the battery in my back, like, yo, this is for you. You know mm. what I mean? Here's a way to redeem yourself. So we kept it, you know? And then from there, it grew into when you met these brothers, right? For sure. I mean, throughout, throughout the years, the original members... Although, you know, the original members of Broken Home never released music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing, like, for, to the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've done tapes, we've done songs, but never put nothing out. And if you, you wouldn't be familiar with them. You know what I'm saying? So I was basically the only one from my crew that kept doing this. You know what I'm saying? After the age of, you know, 17, 18 years old. Or, you know what I mean? Stay mm -hmm. consistent. Stay consistent. And then, you know, I spent a lot of time away when I came back. I never changed anything, you know what I'm saying? It's just it's still broken home. It, it might not be the same people exactly, you know what I'm saying? But these are still my people. They're still behind me. You might not see them in front of the camera or hear them on songs with me, but it's still broken home, everything. Mm. Facts. You're you representing for all of them. Indeed. And Indeed. So, um, so my question was, how do you meet the brother A1? I met A1 at a very crazy studio in Queens. <laughs> out in the story of Queens. Word. <laughs> what makes it so crazy? Hold up. I want to know now. <laughs> it was, uh, they can it make was... documentaries about this shit. Let's uh, just put what? it that way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, for real, though. For real. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and name the studio or none of that. We ain't going to do none of that, right? But it was a studio slash after hours, right? So it was uh, basically... It was a spot. It Everything was goes. It was the spiz, you know what I'm saying? Everything like. Goes. It was the spot. Yeah, man. And it was kind of like fucking gladiator school in there. It's kind of like, you know, like soft jail. Like being in like a, <laughs> it's like a, like a minimum security prison with microphones. <laughs> you know niggas, what I'm saying? Niggas like, could walk out on their own time. <laughs> go, go smoke a cigarette. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He was, I think, I think A1 was, permission. how old were you when, when we met? I was probably like 19, maybe. Uh, yeah. Probably like 19 or something like Makes that. Makes sense. Right? Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we just clicked pretty fast, man. A1, you know, is obviously a fucking super talent. You know what I'm saying? And A producers too. Indeed. Indeed. And yeah. only getting better with time. But even at that time when I first met him at 19, he was nasty. He was able to hold his own with. And this place that we were at, this studio was, it wasn't just like some studio where sometimes people go there and they rap and all that legendary cat the illest spitters were there you know what i'm saying it was like a sh you had to be ill to be up in there you know what i'm saying but not only ill you also had to be a bit of a maniac because it's a fact because you couldn't be in there <laughs> if you, weren't, you know what i mean so we bonded in there man and we and we did pull each other towards more positive 
you know, type right. of behavior in there. We were constantly pulling each other out of there, keeping each other on our toes. You know what I mean? Mm, nice, nice. Well, that's what boy. That's what your boy does, man. A one. So, um, just for the people that don't know you as well as we know you, can you introduce yourself a little bit, like how you got into the the music scene? Yeah. Well, as far as like the music, like making music or like yeah, hip hop, yeah. and then you like how you you. you clicked with this brother over here. I mean, as far as hip-hop, yeah, that's just since I was like five years old, bro. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? Like, I was just around older cats from my neighborhood, my block, and I just gravitated towards that shit. Like, whenever the radio was on, it, it'd be the rap songs where I'd be like humming to or like repeating the words wrong and shit because I'm five and I don't know what they really saying, but I'm saying it over and over. So, that there was like a clear indication like, yo, I like this shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, with the writing, I started writing maybe like Fourth grade, I got in trouble and all that, like suspended from school and all that shit. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, words. yeah, because of the shit was mad profanity. I'm like <laughs> third you grade, bro. I'm saying right, some shit, wild shit. I'm is. saying some wild shit, son. Like <laughs> for them to suspend me, like, you know, over some I wasn't saying A B C one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? We put it that way. It's that push, push I was, into the bush. Yeah, that was, you know, I was talking crazy. Yeah, I was talking crazy, bro. Like, I was that stupid little bad kid that was, like, the bad influence of everybody. Like, I taught everybody the curse words of this and how to do oh, this, man. do graffiti. Yeah, exactly. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was, I put, the, that's why they really suspended me, because I put two other kids on the right rhymes, too. And oh, so they knew it was shit, me. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Infectious. So, so it was like, yeah, boom. Suspension. My mom's knew it, too, and all that. She had the rhyme. If she still had it today, that would be crazy, but... She laughed that shit off. And yeah, that's how I started. Oh, and then, to the production game. Oh, production is because I had no one to make me beats. <laughs> it's really that simple, son. Out of necessity. Son, it's really that simple. And I was a teenager. I was a teenager. I was probably like 13, 14, son. Downloaded Fruity Loops. Mm. Super illegal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, get the crack version. All that, like, super crack version. Mad trials, the triple A's <laughs> trying to get that shit, bro. Viruses, son. I, we had to go through viruses to make a beat, bro. Uh. But yeah, I taught myself, son. That ass, like uh, that's the best way. Well, I taught myself, bro. And but then as I started making beats and I started rhyming over my shit, people was like respecting it, and they was giving me beats from there. You know what I'm saying? But they was giving me beats because of the rhymes. I was getting better, and they're like, "Yo, we gotta, I gotta send a, a, a beat to this kid." That's Yo, how when, I was. When people tell you that that you kind of sound like Nas, is that a good thing or a bad thing for you? It's, it's a good thing. Can't be a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? And like. I'm always just looking at it as like, yo, it's an honor. You know what I'm saying? Like, how could I yeah. see it as any other way? You know what I'm saying? Especially I'm from Queens too. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Like, and he is one of my favorite rappers. So it's like, I don't think I'm being pigeonholed into nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just that people naturally just compare shit, son. Huh? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Sprite yeah, nah, 7 yeah, Up, that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, people are just going to compare shit just naturally because that. when you unfamiliar with something, the first thing your brain tries to do is to relate it to something that you do know. So category. You know what I'm saying? And in, a rub hates it, right? <laughs> you hate that shit. I hate comparisons. I mean, yeah, but you know, that's just like a dim way to like make sense. Yeah, you yeah. Know, no, things. it is. You it know is. what I'm saying? It's an like, easy way to, to, to connect. Connect people to science. Well, so you strolled into this crazy studio <laughs> and you see my man over here with the oh, mic. Oh, I, I knew right <laughs> away. I swear to God, yo, when I first met him, the first thought in my head was like, yo, this is Rodham is for real. <laughs> you seen Juice? <laughs> so I was like, yeah. Oh, son is the real life rider, man. Yo, son yeah. came through. I remember that <laughs> shit like like it was just last Tuesday, son. Uh, I was chilling there in the studio and all that shit. Yo, son just came through. It looked like he just came out of jail. He probably did. <laughs> came out. I think it might have been like, yo, he might have been in a wife beater. Like, yo, it just looked like he did 40 pull-ups. He probably looked like he did 40 pull-ups on the scaffolding before he came into the, the building, right? Yo. He came through with like a bottle and like a, I don't know. But yeah, I was just like, yo. And like the, the whole demeanor, it was just real raw and shit like that. And I was just like, okay, he's not playing. Like in all levels, he's just not playing the music and everything. So I, I, yeah, I was like, yeah, this is Rodimez for real. Like, this is funny, <laughs> son. But I was like, yeah, that's what's up, man. You yo, know? it don't turn out well for Rodimez, man. I'm going to need a different nah, reference. but you know, it's Rodimez before the, you know, before the, before the alleyway. The, the other version. You never went into the alleyway. Bad, bad. We're still here, you know. And y'all just Take instantly it. connected like that, man? Yeah, nah, we did. Yeah, for sure. Because, I mean, like, I respected his pen off rip. I already, matter of fact, what's funny is that my man's put me on in his music before I met him. Mm. Oh, shit. Or somebody oh, shit. I went to school with. Well, shout out to my man, Rec, man, Astoria. 
He was he put me on to him, and I was like, yeah, son is nice, and this and that, yeah. And then when I met him, I was like, oh, that's him. You know what I mean? And, and since y'all, well, ever since y'all been working together, man. Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, we talk about over song, ten years. First song we did, yeah, yeah, we we over ten ten years now making music together. I mean, the first song we did, I believe, is Concealed Weaponry, right? Yeah, that was the first song we did together. Yeah, yeah. That's and the a fact. second song that we made. Is Ninja, Ninja Vanish, Vanish, which yep. is now the name of the album that we're doing together. Ninja Ooh. Vanish. You know what I'm saying? Special. Ninja Ninja they come Vanish. together full circle. Can we, can we get some details? How many how many tracks? You got any uh, videos in the works for this? Yeah, we actually we actually just filmed today um, for a joint featuring Rim the Villain. Mm. Uh, Shout out to Rim. Yeah, the whole joint is produced by, by True Cypher. And uh, it's seven songs, you know what I mean? But seven dots, though. You know what I mean? Ooh. Like, And we... It's so ill because, like, I understand that people have short attention spans, you know, and albums are getting shorter. Mm-hmm. You know, across the board, they're getting shorter. Some people are still putting out the 16-song albums or 21-song albums, you know what I mean? And it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just think we're at a place where most people can't really handle all of that, especially if it's intricate shit, you know what I mean? Like, if it has, you know, a certain learning curve to it, a word you don't know, or an idea you never heard before. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go back to it. You, you gotta go back to won't. it. So take these, take these seven. You know what I mean? And listen to one every day of the week. And study it, and just keep doing that. You know Any what I'm saying? Skits in there? No, little, no, no skits, skits uh, in there as of yet. You know what I mean? But we haven't um, completely wrapped the project yet. We got like another two mixing sessions, mm-hmm. and then we're done. You know what I'm saying? So. It may happen, you know what I mean? Those but things I like for them to happen organically. Organically. You know what I mean? Or, or something that exists already organically in our life. If we could, you know, put that into the music somehow yeah. and it's funny and it, you know what I mean? Then we'll do it like that. Sounds good, man. Looking forward to that. Part. Everybody should look forward to that. Yo, E, what you think, man? You, you think A1 is, is down to jump on that stage too? I mean, shit, man. He's here. I mean, the people need to see what they're looking at, right? Get familiar with it, you know? Why not? They want to talk it. What do you think, bro? It's dope. It's dope. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, y'all yeah, heard it, man. It's show and prove for A1. Let's go. hear me, man. Uh, if I bring heaven to concrete, will God hear me clearer? Drugs get pumped like heartbeats. The cops in the mirror. This thing on my hip don't lie. Like Shakira, if you a dime, get nearer. Got a leak in that Rivera, Terra era. Yeah. Crown. Frames always vintage, come from King Lineage Need my thanks when I finish, y'all scrimmage I play ball, ain't off with napalm Skin fade, pimp grade, I have your mane in my palm A keep it calm, but put my name in the song You might meet past with a ninja, nameless and arm Laugh now, tear never, you still a lame Even in your polo bear sweater Hold the coke and red leathers My graffiti ninjas write their names up in flared letters The death bopping they heads, even when ears severed Dear mama, your boy chillin' Counting more shillings, no grimy cats that don't know what endorphins is More celebration mean more spilling Y'all plastic straw spitting, I'm bringing back that raw feeling I know I'm on a dead end street Fucker, huh. I told you they gon' hear me, ain't got no choice man uh, the gritty author is here, the sick let off disappear Turn down meetings cause the office was weird Humby, a million dollars to the man who keep his honor You a snake in designer, you need eyes blue behind your homicide Your mama line up the vinyl with some Donna Summers It's wonderful, sinister rhyme, load up the llama Cock it to dump a few has-beens Talking about back then, bodies that they caught was all probably by accident I put a nifty broad, who I met on West 54th Gave her rounds, Mickey Ward, the left it was sticky Draws. You never moved a pack, you lying. You got pride like a pack of lions Till you on your back, you lying now Cook up from the foot up, fuck the coulda, woulda, shoulda Book you for your mugger mushy Where you put the booger sugar You could own a thousand calendars Still won't live to see a man of my caliber Only Esco will matter, cause my palate change Exquisite eats, chalice full of pain This a grown man talking, I ain't playing childish games Fuck Yo, that was show and prove with A1, man. Yeah. Fucking killed it, man. No Just uh, talk a little bit about the joint, bro. Yeah, that joint is called Dead End Street. It's actually off my album I'm working on mm. called, and for my next trick. Well, nice, that's man. coming nice. after Ninja Vanish. Love it, bro. Nice. Can't wait, man. And, um, you know, you spit a lot of bars on there, man. You're super lyrical. And, you know, we're the hip-hop advocates, so that's 
right up our alley. That's what we love over here. And talking about bars, yo. Mm. Um, yo, E, we got spit gems over here, and I know, yo, this entire week we've been fucking. It's been like a midterm. We've been studying and yeah, shit. Man. And I know you took out your magnifying glass at the, your back pocket, and you got some bars, and you want to put them to the test, right? My man, gems got some. He got a crazy catalog, man. And you know, you could, you could definitely, get lost. you know, you, you could definitely spend a couple, you know, a couple days to to get through it, cause Facts. my man got joints, and joints that are listenable. Cause a lot of people could throw on a lot. You can have a lot of music, you know. Quantity. What do you say? Quantity ain't everything. Quality, quality matters. Versus quantity. It's quality that matters. There's a lot of quality in, in the music and the bars Appreciate and all that. Mm. Um, but this this little segment right here is something called bars with spit gems. You heard? Woo. Basically, the name of the game. I got some bars for some tracks, and these are your friends. It's just uh, let us, let let the people know or let us know the name of the song that these bars is from. And a one, if you get them, bonus. Up, that's free. the fucking bonus. Feel free. You, out. I bet. <laughs> you might get the other Corvette parked behind that. The one that that my man Smith Jones already won. You know. <laughs> All right, first one goes. Mermaid Green. Uh, lately, I ain't feeling the commissioner. I'm feeling vicious. Fuck the cops. I don't want him arrested. I got hunger for vengeance. I hope my son don't inherit. My heart is a dark cave that the sun no longer enters. You remember, You know what song that's from? You guys just it over. That's from a song called Martha, Martha. by uh, myself and my brother F.U. On Fribs. Let me yeah. ask you something about that song. Because they La Music, we were listening to it last night. He pointed out to me. I was like, yo, is that... Batman related, the theme behind it? He's Batman. He's talking, he's Batman. And I didn't Absolutely. catch that in the beginning until right. my man pointed it out. Right. So, like, the, you know, <laughs> like my heart is a dark cave that the sun no longer enters. Uh -huh. You know, like Batman's son, Damien, they had, like, a, a falling out. Yep. He, he, you know what I mean? He left the Batcave. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, it's just, like, sun, you know, obviously, Sola, and then sun, the child. I, I tried to play the whole verse like that. Well, no, nah, th that line is deep right there. My heart is a dark cave. That the song no longer, the sun no longer enters. Word. And it basically, like, the way I took that, you know, you talking about fuck the cops, I don't want him arrested. That was, like, the story behind Batman when they, his Indeed. mom got killed. Indeed. You know, and he and when he came back and he found the killer. He, You know, he wanted the vengeance himself. Indeed. Facts. You know? Right, it, so it was one deep. for one right now, yo. One All for right. one. The next one goes, fuck the industry. Don't sell your soul. Keep your faith in the Lord. Maintain self-control. If you understand this truth, break it down for the youth. Because the desert needs water and the sick needs soup. No doubt. That's a, that's a song called Industrial Revelation. Let's go. That's a old school album. Indeed. Um, I produced right. that joint, by the way. That produced by A1. A1, A1 production. Up. Look at that. Uh, you see how the universe just aligns itself? That wasn't even planned. God Beautiful. damn. All right, this one. All right, now we're going to get deeper into the catalog. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I eat rappers, shit them out, and make other rappers lie in it. You lying if you say your lines as sick as mine. A monument should be designed to honor and com co commemorate my dominance. That's a song called GMI. That God was on damn, Tony. Damn, what the I'm, thinking, I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm fine as <laughs> shit. <laughs> That was all I mean, I only wrote it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yo, you gotta you give him some Johnny Walker. Sometimes we do this shit. They no just doubt. forget these shit. No doubt, and it's it's easy to do. I'm just bullshitting. It is easy to do that. Uh huh. You know I mean? But that was off of that uh, Tony Touch. I found I found it on the Tony Touch Peacemaker Three. Yeah, shout out to Tony Touch, man, and shout out to that new mixtape doc he got coming mm -hmm. out, man. Yeah, yeah, shit is fire. Yeah, and seen that the other day. Indeed. Oof, I want to check that out. Yeah, that's fire. That's a. Uh, I mean. That's one thing, right? You got a lot of your own projects, but you've also, like, I found a lot of your music. You've done a lot of music on other people's projects. Like, you know, you're just featuring on a lot of other people's stuff. Well, like, and that, that goes to show, like, your, your work ethic. You know, people respecting you and wanting, wanting to put you on and, and bring you on their projects. That shows a lot about, you know, your, your capabilities. No doubt. That's what this whole segment is about, is trying to show the people, you know, the wordplay. And that, this is nothing. 
You're up. That that was your final one? Nah, I got one more. People's Choice, Voice of the Ghettos, Speak from My Whole Hood. A heart could get you that. A mind could get you even more. Combined, you'd have a man from where I stand. You see that? Damn, I got to say That's that. louder. Damn, this motherfucker. That's louder. Still got it. And I'm trying to, yo, usually I say it better the second time. I say it better the second time because... You know, I'm, I'm just reading it fresh. No but doubt. I know when I wrote it, I was like, yo, damn, this shit was sick. This nigga said it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Louder, that right? one for a second, I was like, wait a minute. Louder off that Stu Bangers presents Indeed. Straight Death Tooth. Yeah, sure. man. That's, that's, that's a little joint right there, too, man. The production on it is crazy. Beat his fucking Stu nasty. Stu Bangers got yeah, some Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's joints. got some drums, man. Yep. Yeah, man. Yo, so. You got, you got a little bonus there? Yo, I got a bonus right here, man. Uh, if you got this ding, correct, ding, bro. Ding. You got that Corvette he's been talking about this whole time. <laughs> um, check yeah, it out. He won already. Got his own production on it. I think he won it, man. Just cause, just off of that, he, he was like, "Yo, nah, I, I did that beat." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Hell beautiful. Yeah. Now you get you that gotta car. Get your producer credit. You man. get the car like Oprah. Shit. <laughs> All right, so here goes. Uh, Bullshitting motherfuckers. I got a sixth sense. Niggas don't fuck with me, yo. It spit gems. I've never heard that. That was before. it. <laughs> there we go, that baby. It. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that shit was, it that wasn't was you. Too <laughs> that was too simple. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I could have come up with none of shit. I was lost too. <laughs> e was e too for, e for yeah. effort, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was great. That was great. Man, he said, what the fuck shit. was that? <laughs> Who the fuck was that? That's not me. <laughs> It was said so simple. Nah, that was fucking great, man. Oh, um, man. Yo, E, that was, those were great, man. He got them all. Yeah, man. Um, That's bars with spit gems, man. Definitely, you know, the pen is elite. The the flow is elite. Right? You, you, a lot of people can write and they don't have the flow, you know, or it's vice versa. People can flow, but they don't know how to write. And that's a unique thing that, you know, that's when you know that someone's elite when they can combine both and, and, you know, it just comes out effortlessly. And you can hear that in your music. A1, shit too, same shit, you know. F you, the whole fucking crew, man. Big facts, that's why y'all niggas, is, you know, that's why y'all niggas is linked up, y'all niggas is crewed up, you know, for so many years because, you know, you could tell y'all push each other. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And the thing about that is that it's nonstop. Like, mm -hmm. it's nonstop. I wouldn't say motivation and inspiration. It's not it, that don't really fit it for me. It's just a, steel a, sharp and steel. Steel sharp and steel for sure. But it's uh we all take this shit seriously on a penmanship level. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's yo, you know how many amazing bars I have from FU and A1 that they've never even recorded? They only exist in chats where they type them to me, like, yo, here. <laughs> Well, you know That's what I'm a saying? That's a fact. Like nah, the illest shit in the world. It don't even exist on a song. You know what I'm saying? So I know my ninjas do this for a reason. They do this because they love it because it's real. You know what I'm saying? It's something that when you do something, you know, they always say you want to know what a person's really like, man. You know what I'm saying? And what he does on his own time when nobody's looking would define him. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that's something I've applied to my life thoroughly. Like, yo. I don't need really any recognition. I can fulfill that within myself. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think that's something that everybody should get into. You know what I'm saying? Like with whatever it is that you do. You know what I mean? Yep. Big facts. So, fellas, uh, we're about to come to the conclusion of the interview. Uh, and my man, the Rub guy, son, he wants to say. But before we get into that, is there anything else that we should touch on with the new project that you guys got? Anything else you guys want to, you know what I'm saying, let the people know? Yo, we'll be out, man, probably uh, about, a, about a, less than a month from now to be out, you know what I'm saying, completely produced by True Cypher. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's just me and A killing shit, man. But this, the special thing about this project, though, is that it has its own sound that is separate from all my other projects. Like, this don't sound like none of my albums, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, that's what excites me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's... 
when you do an entire project with another artist, you know what I mean? Like me and F.U. did ribs, you know what I mean? It's a constant challenge. Like, you know, we're friends and all that, but the truth is that he's trying to outrhyme me. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go. Every trip, you know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with A, you know what I mean? It's a friendly competition. It's a friendly competition, you know what I mean? But it's for the juggler, though. You know what I mean? We want to be honest about what we're doing. Yeah, this joint is, like, more purposeful. Like, it ain't just some random joints we just had on the side and we like yo let's just put this together for the I people let's make a quick buck like this shit was like we're gonna make a project called ninja vanish son and it's real meaningful because that was the second joint we ever did together mm-hmm. that was like over 10 years ago feel yeah, me so yeah, yeah. got a lot of meaning to it word you no got doubt. um uh f you on on one of the uh, f was on the album f you was on the album and rim the villain is on the album those are the only features nice oh, man you kept wow. it tight right there yeah yeah for sure my man, my man, if you write uh, rhymes off a, on a on a on no everything. Pad, off a oh, fucking I wrote everything, this, off I wrote of a, this rhyme. off of a, a, a pterodactyl wings. What the fuck is it called? Yo, what, everything was that bar. <laughs> I wrote I wrote this on. <laughs> but shout yo, out to True Cipher for real, man, because yo, them cats get busy, man. Indeed. They, yeah, they Dominican. Yeah, yeah. peace to older Beat Smith, man. Dope, son is man. son is dope, man. That's I ain't hear a wag beat from him yet. Son. Yo, uh, gems, is that is that your your own label? Indeed. Oh, uh, let's Indeed. let's talk about that real quick, so people are like familiar. Yeah, I mean, this is I'm gonna keep it a buck. This is just for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, nice, nice. Yeah, 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 you yeah. can't have that shit, bitch. Word. Yeah, this this is just uh, it's only for me. You know what I mean? All right, I'm not selling it to nobody. It for respect, sale, baby. Respect, right yeah, there. But you know. <laughs> but you know what it is with the merch, man. I got it if you need it. I got all kinds of it. You know oh, what I mean? Man. But but this this when you see this cutlery thing, this is a uh, it's my personal personal brand just for me. Yeah. Official, man. And this this is my shit. This is called Supreme. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, That's I just about. started my own shit. It's called Supreme. I'm, he wearing this my shit right there too. Supreme, <laughs> man. <laughs> Yo, fellas. So um, I don't know if y'all know, but I'm in a rub. He's our album connoisseur. What he does is that he checks out old albums, new albums. He listens to them. He brings them back and lets the viewers know what they should listen to. So take it away. Once again, man, it comes back full circle. Uh. You know, I'm playing. You know, we got A1 in the building. Spit Gems, you know, the project coming up. And this one, you know, I went back to the Ribs album. Yeah. And... Really listen through it all the way through, and it's dope. The whole concept, the way you and Fu, you know, Ribs is Rikers Island Boxer School is short for that. And the whole album from the beginning is like, you know, you're walking into a fucking fight, right? The intro is like introducing two fighters, and it's just, and then throughout the whole album is Yannick is going at it, which you know, y'all got a one featured on the track there. But it, it, you know, it, it fits in the 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 mood, the mode of what where y'all going with y'all project, you know, the 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 Rikers Island Bond School was with with you and with you and um F, and now this new album coming out with you and A One, but just the way this album came out, like from the beginning, it's like you know, it's, it's like it's like you're walking into a boxing match, and then you got the skits with all the fighters in between, you know. It's like you know the halfway point. Is is that Khabib, Khabib on one of them? For sure. On one of them, right? Yeah. Talking about the mountain, the mountain skate, right? Yeah, yeah. That yeah. shit was hilarious. Khabib, I was like, yo, uh, Khabib, Khabib, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're not a street fighter. Talking about you're not. You don't fight. Is this a street fight? You want to fight in the street? Whatever that nigga talking. <laughs> but just the whole concept. Then the way y'all end the album was ill. It's like it was a draw between both of y'all. Right, like that was that that Indeed. shit that to me like the artistry behind that like just listening through it and you hearing the 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 storyline between the skits is explaining what's going on like y'all going back and forth the whole album trying to outdo like you say y'all you Indeed. always trying to outdo each Indeed. other. Indeed, and it was a grueling process, man. and it was ill. <laughs> and, 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 and it came out with perfection, like all the way straight through the album. <laughs> Likewise. You was, about, you was talking about features and shit. Uh, you didn't even hear the features that didn't come out. Them shits is fucking off the... Ch- he makes it tough for you, B. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not up for it, fucking... you get that verse back and you're excited to get a Spit Gems verse, 
but you realize your shit ain't up to snuff. Oh man, can't put the shit out. Those records are the best. <laughs> I yeah. mean, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. Yo, just Spin Jam makes it tough for everybody, man. It's my some brother. of the joints Thank on you, there, buddy. Rifle Experts. That was experts. FU. That was FU. Rifle Experts. Um, that's the video, you know, the, the picture we drew, we showed before. There's a video out for that in the desert. Uh, Triple Crown with A1. Uh, the Catskills. That beat is fucking nuts. That's my that favorite joint. That beat, know, beat is man. fucking crazy. That's I love good. that beat. That beat is crazy. Uh, Martha, you know, that was on the bars with. Spot for that with Nems. Uh, Sunday Bass, Ice Girl, you know, some of the joints, you know, I'm just naming some of them, not for nothing. Yo, E, what's your personal favorite off of that? No, no, the Cash Kill shit was... That's your joint? That was, that was my favorite joint on the album. But overall, man, solid project, man. People need to check it out. Check out Spit Gems. Check out A1 shit. Motherfucking F you. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's like, it's his own movement. This whole movement right here is, is is his own thing, like you know, and we're 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 very honored to have y'all brothers, you know, come here and and showcase that most definitely, show, you know, most definitely, because this is what we love to to bring to the audience, you know, bring attention to the real hip hop, the real authentic writers. Yeah, it, the honor has been all ours, man. Being here, we really appreciate y'all, man, and and I love the show, man. I just I'm a fan of the show. You know Thank what I mean? You, Thank check. you, bro. Yo, this is a flat throw rug right here, man. Yeah. Usually when a guest says something like that, they'll always be like, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Not today. Nah. Not today. Nah. You got the Corvette. You got the Corvette. Cool. It goes with that aesthetic. It's fucking worth a try. It's fucking worth a try. Not the rug. Not the carpet. Yo, Rob, this has been a crazy episode. Fucking mm. fantastic. Yo, Figs, we miss fantastic you. I know you in... Colombia, the mountains, maybe doing a few lines off a few butt cheeks. Mm. Who knows? Yikes. Or maybe not. <laughs> or maybe not. Yikes. But yo, <laughs> yo, and that's the conclusion of the episode, man. Yo, thank y'all fellas for coming. Mm. We appreciate y'all, man. Catch us next time. This is the Hip Hop Advocates. Uh huh. Oh, they gonna hear me, man. If I bring heaven to concrete, will God hear me clearer? Drugs get pumped like heartbeats, the cops in the mirror This thing on my hip don't lie, like Shakira If you a dime, get nearer, got a leak in aloe vera Terra era, yeah, crown, frames always vintage Come from king lineage, need my thanks when I finish Y'all scrimmage, I play ball, eight off with napalm Skin fade, pimp grade, I have your mane in my palm A keep it calm, but put my name in the song You might meet past with a ninja, nameless and arm Laugh now, tear never, you still a lame Even in your polo bear sweater Hold the coke and red leathers My graffiti ninjas write their names up in flared letters The death bopping they heads Even with ears severed Dear mama, your boy chilling Counting more shillings, no grimy cats that don't know What endorphins is More celebration mean more spilling Y'all plastic straw spitting I'm bringing back that raw feeling I know I'm on a dead end street Fucker. I told you they gon' hear me, ain't got no choice, man uh, the gritty author is here, the sick let off disappear Turned down meetings cause the office was weird Humby, a million dollars to the man who keep his honor You a snake in designer, you need eyes blue behind your homicide Your mama line up the vinyl to some Donna Summers It's wonderful, sinister rhyme, load up the llama Cock it to dump a few has-beens Talking about back then, bodies that they caught was all probably by accident I would a nifty broad, who I met on West 54th Gave her rounds, Mickey Ward, the left it was sticky Draws. You never move the pack, you lying. You got pride like a pack of lions Till you on your back, you lying now Cook up from the foot up, fuck the coulda, woulda, shoulda Book you for your mugger mushy Where you put the booger sugar You could own a thousand calendars Still won't live to see a man of my caliber Only Esco will matter, cause my palate change Exquisite eats, chalice full of pain This a grown man talking, I ain't playing childish games I know I'm on a dead end street in a city like my bro Jump said, man.